If your webcam keeps forgetting its custom settings every time you restart your computer, I'm going to show you how to get rid of that pesky little problem. Welcome back. If you're new around here, my name is Chris and this is Coalition Gaming, where I like to share my knowledge of PC building, repairing and streaming with you all. If you're into that sort of thing, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos. Sometimes a simple USB webcam is all you need and sometimes they look better than you think they can. All it takes is some simple optimizing and bam, it looks clean and sharp. The venerable Logitech C920 and C922 are still some of the most popular webcams for broadcasters, streamers, video calls, office use, and stuff like that. However, there are a lot more budget cameras out there than there used to be, like from brands like Nexigo. The setting these USB webcams default to when plugging them in or restarting your PC are what really give webcams a bad rap though. They look terrible at default settings. Then if your lighting isn't good, a feature called low light compensation makes things look even worse, adding a ton of motion blur or like a low FPS effect to it because of how that works. It's not a good thing. The way that low light compensation works is because it tries to well compensate for low light by lowering the shutter speed essentially on the camera, which adds a lot of blur, like I said, but the effect that you see to your eyes is really bad FPS or I guess like the look of uh, how something would look if you're drunk. Now, the program out there that can make this better, it's called Camus. While it may not be free, it's only $5, which I think is definitely worthwhile considering the headaches that this can save you. So let's check it out. So here we are on the C920, completely unoptimized at the desktop where we're going to be making the changes that we need to be making, installing Camus, the software, in order to uh, get it to save a profile that will apply the proper settings for this to look right between reboots. It's going to be so much easier to deal with these kinds of webcams. So yeah. Like I mentioned earlier though, low light compensation can really mess with the capture frame rate of this and that's why I look a little blurry, or rather have a lot of motion blur, I just look slow. Low FPS is basically the effect that you're seeing here and optimizing the webcam will also help deal with that. So with all that said, let's get to the desktop and I'll show you guys the process. I went ahead and arranged the software to capture with the camera in a bigger mode so you can see the changes a little more accurately as I'm making them. So first thing I'm gonna do is turn off the, uh, let's see, automatic exposure. You see here the exposure has a checkbox on it. That means auto. So we're gonna uncheck that so we can manually set the exposure, which we also have to manually adjust for gain. So we're gonna turn the exposure down because once you turn that down, well, look at that. It gets a little bit smoother. And we're also gonna uncheck this one that says low light compensation, which I mentioned. You uncheck that, and there we go. We get the normal motion back when you uncheck those. But turning down exposure also makes it darker. And so this is about a good level right there. And then, well, then you can move the gain around a little bit to get some, some brightness back. And that's pretty good right there maybe exposure up a little bit to bring gain down sort of find the right balance the right mix you know what i mean and so uh white balance is definitely something that you want to fix because if you have rgb lights or color lights behind you it can throw your white balance off and then it's going to make your skin colors look kind of different or um, maybe not as accurate as you'd want. So I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that box. And as you can see, now I have a hue to myself and I just got to find the right one, especially for the color lights that I'm using and where am I end up settling at? Maybe, maybe right around there. And then I can mess with the saturation to give myself a little bit more color back. And then once I have that set, maybe I move the, the white balance again find out where I think is pretty close to accurate without being overdone. And I think I'm just going to settle with, with there. So also, you can add some sharpness. As you can see, it's a little soft. So sharpness is something you don't want to overdo. But I like looking at my beard when I do this so I can turn the sharpness up a little bit. Obviously, if we overdo it, this looks bad. But if this looks worse, also bad rather, but somewhere in between, maybe right there that looks pretty good now my face looks way better than it did just a second ago and hmm skin tones look decently accurate and uh 
that's basically the profile that I'm going to want to save right there because that looks pretty good. And so you go down here where it says save as name and I'm going to give it primary and uh, hit that save button. Saving camera settings and profiles is available in the licensed full version of this. Please consider purchase only $4.99. So Camus isn't exactly free, unfortunately, but there you go. So if software like this is something that you find worthwhile, then the $4.99 shouldn't be that big of a deal. Uh, can't say that I'm crazy that it's not free software, but you know, time did go into developing something like this. So if it is something that you can appreciate, then it's definitely worth making that person's time worthwhile as well. That aside, you do have some other options that are nice. So if you click the settings gear right here, you see this drop down: global hotkeys and auto start for cams and their profiles, right? So you can set different cameras to start with their different profiles and uh, you can set different hotkeys to turn different profiles on and off and stuff as well. So you can even set it here, start minimize next time, start with Windows, starting with Windows and minimize, and it'll auto load a profile for that camera, means that even every time you reboot, your camera settings are going to be exactly where you want them to be. It's also worth noting that there is a Stream Deck plugin for this app too, and that you can set different profiles and control them with the buttons on the Stream Deck. So you can even mess around with having zooms, you can change your colors, you can change uh, certain effects depending on which profiles you have set up. And so you can actually use this program to do some fun stuff as well. That added value sure feels nice after you pay the five bucks for the program, right? Do you think that you'll find yourself using this program? Even if you don't use a webcam as your primary camera anymore, there's a good chance that you might still be using a webcam elsewhere in your setup or use one as a backup camera in case you have a guest on stream or in your uh, office or for other calls or as a, let's say, a go-to mobile camera like I do when I'm on the go and I want to stream from my laptop. I don't take my big camera setup with me. I take a USB webcam. The simplicity of a USB webcam can't be beat sometimes, and that's when a program like Camus comes in clutch. Speaking of USB webcams, check out this video on the Avermedia PW513 4K webcam that I did a review on. Webcams can still be all right, they can still be better, but we are reaching a time when they're just starting to finally hit that point in quality where they can, well, sometimes just always be your main camera. But We'll see about that. If you like this video, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and that bell so you don't miss a single upload. Also, I stream to Twitch every Friday at 8 p.m. Pacific at twitch.tv slash coalition Chris. So make sure you drop a follow and uh, let's come talk stream tech and webcams and gear and stuff. I hope you found this video entertaining, informative, or otherwise useful. My name is Chris, the stream technician, and I'll see you guys in the next video or the next stream. All right, peace out.